بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد For our five daily obligatory prayers, there are 11 wajib acts that we need to do. Five of them are rukni wajib acts. Rukun basically means a pillar, wherein if someone was to miss out on them, not do them intentionally or unintentionally or make a mistake, their salah will automatically be rendered as batil and invalid. As for the other six which are non-rukni wajib parts in salah, there are details as to what one should do if they made an unintentional mistake. As for the first of the rukni wajib acts in salah, it is intention or niyyah. What it means is prior to you entering into prayer, you have made the intention of which of the five prayers you're going to be performing. You don't need to say it verbally as long as it's there present in your heart. Number two is takbiratul ihram, which means you're going to say Allahu Akbar and when you do that you are entering into prayer. Ihram or haram means what, what's going to happen is something that would be halal and okay and permissible for you to do now becomes forbidden. You have entered into the sanctity of prayer so you're not allowed to talk, you're not allowed to eat, you're not allowed to walk away from the qibla etc etc. Number three is qiyam or standing up for one who is able to. Number four is ruku' or bowing down. Now for each rak'ah for every unit you have one ruku'. Number five is sujood or prostrating. For each one rak'ah, you have two wajib sajdas. These are the five rukns of salah. Then we have the non-rukni wajib acts in prayer. Number six here is qira'ah or recitation, which is the hamd and the surah. Then we have the dhikr, number seven. And that is the invocation when you're doing your for example, what you say in ruku', what you say in, tush, in, in uh, sujood. Number eight is tashahud. In the second rak'ah, when you finish off with the two sajdas of the second rak'ah, you need to sit back down and you recite the tashahud. Tashahud is when you say alhamdulillah, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah, so on and so forth. You're going to be reciting this in the second rak'ah and also if it's a three rak'ah prayer you're going to be reciting it in the second and in the third rak'ah finishing off. If it's a four rak'ah prayer you are going to be reciting it in the second rak'ah and in the fourth rak'ah. Number nine is taslim and taslim basically means you are finishing off your prayer, you are exiting your salah when you say Assalamu alayka ayyuh nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah salihin Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh The salah is over. There are two extra wajib non-rukni acts in salah and that's number 10 which is tartib or sequence one has to be done after the other in the correct way. You can't do rak'ah number one and then, for example, uh, prior to that having done something else. Or you can't do the sajda before the ruku'. It needs to be done in sequence. Number 11 is muwalat. It needs to be continuous without any undue gap. You can't do one rak'ah and then uh, five minutes later, come back and do a second rak'ah. Inshallah, we were able to cover the um, 11 wajib acts in salah. And for any further details, please refer back to the practical laws of Islam. And thank you, Batul, for being a nice assistant. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi tahirin.